I'm out in the field today. I've been out here for the last couple of two, three days doing uh, some survival stuff. And uh, today, right now, I'm looking for prickly pear cactus and aloe. And I'm going to show you how you can process the plants safely so you can kind of uh, consume them. These are great plants. Uh, if you find yourself in a survival situation, speaking of, I'm looking at the clouds. It's a low cloud base. There is bits of blue sky. The clouds are blowing west. So that tells me that the, the weather is only going to get better. If the clouds were blowing north to northeast, I would uh, be looking for a place to uh, shelter in. Again, you know, if you can find a, a, a natural shelter, you're a lot better off than going around and picking up branches and, and making your own shelter. So, on to the prickly pear and aloe. Whenever I come up trails like this, I'm Again, with my walking spear, I'll move it up and down when I'm walking through tight trails like that to knock down spider webs and spiders. Can't stand them. However, I can stand prickly pear cactus. You're in a survival situation. You can eat this stuff raw or you can eat it cooked. Um, there are stories that I've heard that people have eaten the stuff raw and have had hallucinations. Um, I've eaten it raw plenty of times and I've never seen snakes come out of the walls or anything so I prefer to I, I prefer to eat it cooked I really don't even like the taste of the stuff what I'm going to do is cut off the leaf show you how to process it so you can consume it and at the same time give back to this plant what this plant has given me uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break a branch off of this dead tree uh, when I break it I'm going to kind of pull it down and what I want is a nice sharp tip at the end of this stick to stick through the center of the prickly pear then I'll use my walking spear uh, to cut the leaf off so here's a prickly pear leaf and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and process it and I already found a place uh, to be able to do that. Um, I went ahead and slide the rock over. I got my little table here. I don't have to worry about animals coming up uh, from behind me and chowing down so to speak. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the uh, easy ways to handle this leaf and how uh, you, the, the different options of being able to uh, get rid of these pricks where they're not going to get into your fingers. What I generally like to do is take uh, some duct tape off my walking spear and I'll wrap this around the base of the leaf. Uh, there, there are very, very, very small little pricks on here and they'll get into your thumb, they'll get into your finger and it's not so much that they're tough to get out but they come in globs. I mean, you'll end up with a hundred small little pricks that now you're going to have to deal with. And again, when you're in a survival situation, those things will just drive you nuts because you think you get them all out and then you go to grab something an hour later and there's still one in your thumb, your finger, and you just, you just didn't feel it before. So again, I'll wrap uh, duct tape on the base. And now, I really don't have to worry about the small, finer little pricks, and I can pull out my stick, because I'm done with it. In the back of my vest, I carry chamois and wool cloths for multi-purposes, and um, one of the things I like to do with these is if I'm in an area where it's foggy or damp, I'll wrap these around my ankles. 
and I'll go through the, the high grass and these things will absorb all the water as I'm walking through. So then I can just strain it right out, right into my mouth. I can strain it right into my canteen. And uh, so they make for a good way to uh, catch water and transport it. I'll lay this on here so now I don't have to worry about bits of sand getting into the uh, parts of uh, the leaf. Again, staying away from your knife, this here is just a, a basic potato peeler and I'll go against the pricks as you can see pulling them right out and then I'll go ahead and go around the, the edge to start processing so let me get to this get these pricks out of here and I'll get back to you in a few minutes So this is half the leaf that I cut off. Now this, this will heal up just fine. Same thing on this plant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant this. That's given back to this plant what it's given me. And this will grow up to be basically this plant's brother. Uh, when you transplant prickly pear, you want to plant it with the thorns into the ground. This way you want to drop it in. The thorns will turn into the roots. And then within a year, maybe a year and a half, You'll have two prickly pear cactuses right next to each other. And we'll give it a splash of water just to get it going. If you don't happen to have a potato peeler with you, which you're, you're probably not going to have one, uh, you can burn them off with a lighter or you, you can build a fire. You know how I am about build, building fires. I try to stay away from that. This here is a torch lighter. When I'm out in the field, I'm always carrying a torch lighter. They'll work in the rain, they'll work in the wind. And I can come through and I can burn all the bigger pricks and then come through the whole leaf and burn out the smaller pricks. And you'll know you're getting them because they'll they'll light up as if uh, you're welding them. And um, they'll even they'll even pop. If you don't happen to have a torch lighter with you, which you probably don't, you're better off building a small fire and uh, burning off all the pricks. Or skin the whole side of the leaf and then you can peel it in half and you can scrape out the bits that you want to eat. You can do it that way. There's a lot of things you can do with prickly pear. This is just the very basics. If you're in a survival situation, there's, there's tons of it around. Um, can you use prickly pear if you're dehydrated? Yes, you can. Uh, so long as you have a juicer in your back pocket, you're good to go. So what I want to do now is uh, since I've gone through this whole leaf and I've, I've burnt it and I've really taken a good close look at it to see if there's any more fine fine uh, pricks on there, you can cut it up or you can just keep breaking it into small pieces and then you can just dump it into your, your boiling water. Um, again, staying away from a knife or you can use a pair of scissors. which you probably don't have. And uh, you can take and, and just cut it into little fancy squares if you want. If you got uh, plenty of time to kill, you know, maybe you can carve some type of sculpture. Prickly pear. Let me tell you, no matter how much I eat the stuff, it never gets any better. Ugh.
Vai, calma.